Hey there, it is Rachel, and in my most recent podcast episode, I talked about how to reduce the stress of running late. And in that episode, I gave general tips based on how children's brain works on how to reduce the stress. But in this video, I'm actually going to specifically talk about the stress of running late in the morning, because I know a lot of you are probably dealing with that. One of the big takeaways I want you to have if you are dealing with running late and stress in the morning is that children will actually not do what you want them to do when they are stressed or they are rushed. And let me explain basically what's happening is when they are stressed or they are rushed, their brain senses that as a threat. So it turns on their fight or flight response. And one of the things their fight or flight response does is it shuts down access to the part of the brain that allows them to be responsible and mature, to the part of the brain that allows them to do what they have to do even when they don't feel like it. So when they're stressed, they can't access that responsible, mature part of the brain and they're not gonna do what you want them to do. So what you wanna think about then is if you want the mornings to go better, you want to reduce the rush and reduce the stress, obviously. And I want you to actually think about this from your perspective too. Imagine that you are in the morning tired and someone is coming up to you and saying, come on, come on, go faster. Why haven't you done that yet? What's going on? You probably wouldn't move faster either. So often when we see their resistance or their slowing down, it is actually their stress response. So I have two tips for you for how to reduce the stress, very high level ways to reduce their stress. The first is actually to let them wake up about 20 minutes earlier than they normally would, whether you're waking them or they're waking up themselves, have them wake up a little bit earlier. And you know, it may not sound obvious because you're thinking, well, why would I have them wake up earlier? They're already tired. The truth is that 10 or 20 minutes will not make that much of a difference in their sleep, but it can help slow the morning down so they don't feel as rushed and they aren't going into their stress response. The other thing you wanna think about is how are you or I as a parent contributing to their stress? Often there are things about the morning that are stressing us out and it's our energy that's creating more stress in the morning. So you might not wanna work on what is it that's stressing you and often what it is is our expectations. We expect that because our kids are physically able to get up and go that they should be able to do that but there are actually reasons that they're not. So you may want to think about your expectations and maybe you won't be able to get ready at the same time when your children are getting ready because they do need some of your attention to stay on task. So if you're getting resentful that you can't get ready, that may be something that needs to change about your morning routine. Or if you're expecting them to get out of the house by a certain time, you may think that they should be able to do it, but they're not doing it. So you may need to change your expectations a little bit. Now, if you do want to know a little bit more about how their brains work and how to increase their speed a little bit in the mornings and anytime you're running late, go ahead and listen to my latest podcast episode. You can find that at rachel-bailey.com forward slash 103. And in the meantime, when it comes to the morning, just remember if they are feeling rushed, if they are feeling stressed, they're not going to do better. If you're feeling rushed or stressed, you're not going to do better either. So I will be back again next time with more tips for you. In the meantime, I hope you have some better mornings. Take care. I'll see you soon.